After Shen Li fought Fu Sheng at East Sea, everyone thought she was dead. Spirit Realm sent messengers to Immortal to report the news. In front of the Heavenly Emperor, the messenger of the Spirit Realm, General Shang Bei, reported, The sneak attack on Spirit Realm and Immortal Realm this time has been destroyed by the King Lord of Spirit Realm. Spirit Emperor sent me to report the news, hope Heavenly Emperor can rest assured. Heavenly Emperor nodded. Very good. I didn't expect Be King Lord to have such bravery, dare to ask where Be King Lord is. This time she made a great achievement, I want to reward her. Thanks for the Heavenly Emperor's good intentions, but there's no need anymore. General Shang Bei's hand on the ground clenched into a fist. He was silent for a long time, finally controlling his emotions, she died in battle. The Heavenly Emperor was stunned for a moment. Before he could react, Xingzi walked in. Why did Immortal come here? Heavenly Emperor stood up to welcome him. Shang Bei solemnly bowed and said, Dear Immortal, Be King Lord Shen Li of the Spirit Realm died yesterday in the battle in the East Sea. Xing Zi was silent for a long time, then shook his head. How can such news be reported without confirmation? As soon as he finished speaking, not only Shang Bei was stunned, but also the Heavenly Emperor was stunned. Information between the two worlds if not confirmed, absolutely cannot be reported. How could Xing Zi not know about this? Shang Bei bowed his head. If it's not authentic, I'm willing to be punished. Xing Zi's expression turned cold. Don't swear in front of a mortal, it will come true. Shang Bei's fist tightened, his knuckles turned white, his voice could no longer be hidden and became hoarse. Immortal doesn't know that I hope to be punished even more. Xing Zi did not believe it, and even agitated him to attack General Shang Bei. No one could have expected that Xing Zi would react so vehemently. The Heavenly Emperor was scared and did not dare to stop. Xing Zi. The people of Spirit Realm and East Sea only found Shen Li's broken spear. When Xing Zi saw with his own eyes that silver spear that was no longer intact, he believed that Shen Li had really encountered trouble. In East Sea, Xing Zi tried to search for Shen Li, but he only found a piece of her shirt left. Losing control, Xing Zi went against Heaven's will and froze the Eastern Sea to search for Shen Li. Thunder fell from the sky to punish Xing Zi, but it couldn't stop him. The vast East Sea was frozen for 10 days and 10 nights. Xing Zi trudged warily across the frozen sea searching for Shen Li. His body was full of wounds from lightning, but Xing Zi didn't care. For 10 days, the East Sea was frozen, creatures in the East Sea suffered unspeakably. In the end, the Dragon King, in order to save the people of the East Sea, came to ask for help from the Heavenly Emperor. The Dragon King cried bitterly in front of Heavenly Immortal. Heavenly Emperor, you must judge me. Xing Zi Immortal froze over 10,000 miles of Eastern Sea. The creatures under the sea suffered unspeakably. Hope the Heavenly Emperor save me. The Heavenly Emperor was frightened, not expecting the immortal Xing Zi to be so arbitrary. In East Sea, Xing Zi stepped forward, step by step, when suddenly there was a call. Immortal Xing Zi. There was a person in front of him blocking his way. Xing Zi raised his head to look at her. What's going on? Yu Lan quietly knelt on the ice in front. I hope the immortal understands the suffering of sentient beings. The East Sea has been frozen for 10 days and 10 nights. The suffering of the East Sea's creatures is unspeakable. Yu Lan saw that Xing Zi's eyes were red because she hadn't rested for a long time, and her lips were pale. Yu Lan lowered her eyes and softly said, Immortal, please suppress the pain. These words should not be said to immortals. Immortals cannot have feelings, they are people who have no pain. If they don't have pain, then what can they say about suppressing pain? Xing Zi looked at the endless sea in the distance and laughed. Is it obvious? Yu Lan bowed her head, not daring to answer. Xing Zi took a few more steps forward. Before, I never felt that the three realms were vast. With my divine body, no matter where I went, it was only a matter of time. But now I know the vastness of the three realms, right away. I can't find the Holy Sea. I can't find it. It's also God's will. Having finished speaking, Xing Zi waved his hand to neutralize the magic. And the ice on the sea surface slowly melted. 